Hello everyone. We are going to learn how to configure the master data. So you must have learned about the info types in my previous lectures like what is info type 1 means, what is info type 2 means, what is info type 6, what is info type 7, what is info type 9. So you must be familiar about those info types. If not, then I would recommend you go back to PA30, PA30 transaction code and then have a look at each of the info type to understand what each info type stores. I mean which fields are stored in a particular info type. So in today's class, let's understand what values can we configure for these info types? Info type 2, info type 6, info type 21, which is basically info type 2 is personal data, info type 6 is address, info type 21 is family. So, info type 2, as mentioned in the previous lecture, Basically, it has a fields like first name, last name, birth date and then some other fields. You know, first name, last name, these are the free text fields. Meaning that you don't have to configure anything for that because it's the name. Some fields are very straightforward like free text, like address, apartment number. In that case, you don't have to configure. But there are some fields for which you have to configure the field values in the configuration then only those values will be showed in the drop down in the info type. So here the configuration of fields available for the maintenance of employee information is done according to the requirement of the customer. I mean the customer might say hey for the marital status we just need single and married we don't need divorce to store or something like that so you have to configure based on the company's requirement so here i have showed some of the you know steps how to basically configure the info type 2 so when i say configure it's a back end i mean what you configure in the back end will be showed in the front end in the info type so let us see how this particular back end configuration what configuration you can do in the backend like uh, the form of address basically form of address are like mr miss mrs these are the titles this will be shown in the info type 2 so you have to configure this here similarly the marital status so these if you see are shown in the info type 2 if you see there is a field called marital status where is this value single is coming from because in the backend you maintain this value. So all these five field values will be shown up here when you click on this drop down icon. When you click on this, it will show all the values which you have configured. So similarly, the title, it shows miss, but it can, it shows all of the three and you have to select out of those three. So this is basically the relation how you configure and how you see in the front end. This is the front end. When I say front end means the users will normally work on the front end because they don't know where these drop down values are coming from. But if they have a requirement, they will come to you and say, hey guy, in this particular drop down, we want one more value to be added. Now being a functional consultant, you have to configure those values here and give it to them. And then they will see those values in the drop down. So this was the example of info type 2, which is personal data. Now let's see about the address address info type number is 6 address basically stores the permanent address or it can store the temporary address and other details and uh, it basically depends on the company requirement what type of address they want to maintain in the system some companies i have seen they just want to maintain the permanent and emergency they don't want to maintain temporary address so it totally depends so it totally depends what you captured in the business blueprint. The business blueprint is a document basically which captures what is required in the system based on the company's uh, requirement. 
so that will be captured in the business blueprint and once the business blueprint is signed off then only you start configuration you directly don't jump into the configuration normally in the real time after the discussion with the client you know what they want in the system then you prepare the documentation you give it back to them then they say oh yeah right these are the values to be configured then you start configuration so now address is info type number six as i mentioned you these are the different address types in my previous lecture if you recall i told subtype a word subtype subtype is the subdivision of the info type i also told you that info type address has subtype like permanent address temporary address home address so this will show up here when you go to pa30 pa30 this screen comes up you type your info type number like 0006 and then when you click on the subtype it will show you what are the different subtypes you have configured in the backend these are not coming automatically these are basically what you have configured in the backend so this in the front end the user the end user will be able to see oh fine for this person if he has requested to update his address then as a user you have to go and pick up the permanent residence so for that reason you basically configure here similarly there is an info type called 21 which basically captures the family details like family members means like your wife or son or daughter mother-in-law these are the family members so this info type captures the different subtypes again i'm telling you subtypes is not for all info type subtypes is only for specific info type so if you are a beginner in the sap hcm course if somebody asks you hey what are the subtype of that particular info type or will they are they will ask you okay will every info type will have a subtype then you should tell no not every info type will have a subtype only few info types like info type 6 and info type 21 is one of the other info type so if, if you see info type 21 here so here also you have different subtypes like uh, spouse uh, divorce spouse father mother you will have so many other uh, you know subtypes and uh, this is the screenshot of the info type 21 so if you see the child where is this child coming from this drop down because in this particular because i just captured a part of this screen but if you go down basically there was a child so that was the reason why here you could able to select the child from the drop down so this is the back end this is the front end so let us go and see how to basically configure those values I am putting slash n because I am in this transaction I want to go to SPRO I enter at SPRO and then I am pressing enter this is taking me to the configuration I am clicking on this IMG now I am going to personal management I am expanding this then I am going to personal administration expanding this now if you see here personal data i am expanding this under personal data you are working here because this is info type 2 this is info type 21 this is info type 6 similarly you have other info types like info type 9 bank details and so on but these are the most important ones so now let us expand the personal data when you expand the personal data now here if you see you go and click create form of address and maintain titles create marital status let's see the form of address when you click create form of address these are the three i am going to create new entries i am giving four i am giving mrs or i would say like just for our testing purpose i would say uh, because the values are already there here if you see the values are already there here so I am putting something like uh, a, M S S something like just for you know to understand and I am giving a gender and see what is the gender is a male or female most was one of the most important thing I would like to tell you 
if you want to know about this particular field information what is this gender means what i have to enter the value sap has really done a very good job just highlight on this put your cursor on this field and then press f1 what have to press f1 press f1 when you press f1 it will show you the details about this particular field see it showed you what is the purpose of this particular field and what values you can enter like the permitted values like 2 for females so i am putting here like for example 2 so now if you see mr miss mrs and i entered mss capital mss now i am saving it when i save it it will ask me the request number as it always do now i created the uh, form of address let me go back to the pa30 pa30 i am going back here again and uh, i am just selecting because you can select the number personal numbers from here but uh, let me just put this employee number here which info type i was working on the configuration info type 2 personal data i am entering info type 2 if you can basically select from here also but i am just making sure that you are familiar how to use this info type field here when you enter info type 2 here press enter go to change because you want to change the title of the employee and clicking on change now if you see the drop down you would see mss where is this mss is coming from because we configured just now so whatever you configure there it will show up here so that was the purpose of showing you what you configure in the back end will be showed in the front end similarly for the marital status it shows single married widow divorce separation so if you go back if you go back to the configuration and uh, again go back and uh, let's uh, basically configure the marital status here so personal management expand this one go to personal administration expand this one go to personal data expand this and basically you see personal data here this is the info type 2 now you are basically trying to create some marital status you click on this these are currently shown up in the info type 2 now i'm going to new entries i'm putting five i would say test i would say zss something like t because the maximum characters has been reached now i'm saving it up now let us go back or from this screen uh, you are familiar with slash n slash n basically what it does it terminates the current section uh, screen or transaction and takes you to the next whatever the transaction code you are entering but if you want to keep the same transaction here and also trying to open a new transaction meaning you don't want to terminate this session and you also want to create a new session then instead of slash n right slash o slash o what it does is it will keep the current transaction as it is and also it will open the new transaction code so in this way it will not disturb you from the existing transaction so slash n is basically to terminate or basically kick you off from this one and slash o will basically keep you in this as well as open a new screen see i entered slash o pa30 so it is basically okay uh, i think it is uh, okay again i'm going back so slash o p a 30 so it opened p a 30 so uh, and uh, apart from that it also kept this current transaction because i just entered slash o so now 
in this one because I'm already in another screen somewhere here so okay let me put some other number here so okay I'm taking some another number here so if you go to personal data here go to change so if you see the value which we configured was ZSSTE because that was the backend configuration and it showed up here so that is the way how you have to configure similarly you can configure whatever the fields you want to for example you want in the addresses if you want to create some other addresses you go here and go to personal administration go to personal data and go to addresses here and create your address types so these are the address types which will be shown up in the info type 6 as subtypes so if you go to the info type 6 it will show you the different subtypes info type 6 here and if you go to the subtypes here it will show you up these are the different subtypes so when you configure here this value will be shown up here so that ends how you basically configure the personal data information in SAP thank you